Yo, what is up YouTube? This is your boy TRL with another video. On the last video, I did tell you about me having the paint and having uh, the rest of the materials to, uh, to paint shoes and whatnot. It did came two days later, so uh, shout out to Angelus for ordering me these and I appreciate them and um, about it um, I painted uh, these Adidas right here it looks really good and um, the acrylic finisher it did really nice for the shoes so I'm really appreciated it didn't waste any time at all but I won't be making any videos for those Adidas I'm gonna be making videos about like any other shoe like um, like the Jordan 11s, you know, with the Legend Blues and, you, you know, all, all shoes that have all white to them, you know. I should be able to probably cop one of the, um, one of the Pure Money shoes, like the 13s or the 11s that's coming out soon. Or, like, you know, any other shoe, like the 4s, yeah, the Retro 4s and stuff like that. Speaking about copying, let's go ahead and start this video. I'm your host TRL, and we're about to do a little something different for these top sneakers that are coming out this month and so forth. The Nike Air Max Zero metallic gold dons on all gold upper constructed out of a combination of mesh and synthetic overlays. Just like the Air Max 97 metallic gold, the all gold upper is also offset by the hits of red on the heel counter, the black on the lining, and the white outsole unit equipped with the visible air unit completing the majority of the trades with the shoe. Now, um, this shoe is really good looking, like, no lie, I would get it. You can get it on April 17th for $130. Nike has made a collaboration of four shoes, which is called Flip the Switch. The four are in the Nike LeBron 14s for $175, the KD 9s for $150, the Kyrie 3 for $120, and the PG 1s for $110. Now, all of these shoes are really good cop. I would most definitely get the, maybe the PG ones, the PG ones looks really good. You can get all of these on May the 5th if you are interested in any of them. The Nike Air Force One Low Easter Egg is revived in 2017 just in time for the respective holiday as it was first seen back in 2005 followed a tweak irritation in 2006. It's a pastel light color scheme with titanium lime ice and storm pink tones other details including cracked egg logo on the tongue and outsole with white laces midsole unit and a lime ice bluish outsole to complete the colorful design if you are interested in getting this shoe you can get it at any retailer for 170 on april the 17th nike has made a flower garden pack which includes the nike Juvenate for $95, the Nike Roshi 2 for $100, the Nike Internationalist for $100, and the Nike Air Max Zero for $120. The real win, um, neither of them to me. Uh, but anyway, if you're interested in any of the shoes, you can get it on April the 20th for any selected retailers. The Nike Air Force One High Sport Lux, aka Easter. The reason why it's called that, I'm pretty sure because of the all pink, <laughs> pretty much everywhere. It says it have gold on it, but there's no apparent, there's no gold anywhere. But I'm just gonna leave it to that. The most good thing about this shoe is the detailing from the strap, and that's pretty much it. But if you want to get this shoe, if you're interested, you can get it on any selected retailers on April the 17th for $275. Looking at Adidas, we have a new colorway for the Yeezy Boost 350 Volume 2, and that is cream white. It's including a cream white upper, which is a cream white outsole, and the pull tab, and everything else. If you're interested in getting this shoe, you can get it on April the 29th for $220. Adidas has made another colorway for the Ultra Boost Uncaged. That colorway is a cool gray on the upper, cool gray on the heel counter, 
on the outsole and a white midsole. If you're interested in getting this shoe, you can get this on any selected retailers on April the 17th, which is tomorrow, for $180. The Air Jordan 5 Pure Money, aka Pure Platinum, whatever you wanted to call them, they go out either way. As you can see, it comes with a creamy outsole and also with pretty much all white everywhere. And uh, it's really clean. They made uh, even more gold into the shoe, including the insole, as you can see. Um, if you're selecting into getting this shoe, they'll be coming out on April the 22nd for, I'm not even going to show you the price, you can just look up on the screen, it, 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 yeah, it's heartbroken, isn't it? I feel you. Here it is, the Air Jordan 13 History of Flight, aka Ultranets. You have seen the Ultranets on the 6th, and here it is on the 13th for a alternate collection, I can say. If you're selected and getting this shoe, which I most definitely will be, <laughs> interested in you can get these shoes on any selected retailers on July the 22nd for $190 here is the Air Jordan 31 low pure money aka pure platinum now it does uh, as you can see appears in a icy blue outsole white jump man and then a gray jump man on the uh, on the side of the shoe um, if you're interested in the shoe, then you'll be able to get them on any selected retailers on May the 5th for, for $160. I thank all of your sneaky heads for watching. If you're a new, hit that like and subscribe button for me. That will really be appreciated. And that concludes my video for today. Peace.